So you want to build a habit. One of the big fallouts from the last year has been loss of the healthy habits that make us feel so good in our day-to-day -day lives. As those things fall away, getting them back into your life can be a goal, but we want to turn those goals into habits. And there are three really important factors to building a habit. Now, habits are things we do habitually without any extra effort or thinking. We just do it because we do it every single day. So number one, when building a habit, you have to start small. Too many people this time of year say, I'm gonna exercise 60 minutes every day, and that's too big of a goal, and you are doomed to fail. If you're not already exercising 60 minutes every day, all you have to do is fail at that one day and you are a failure in terms of the way that your brain works. So what we wanna do is first build your resiliency and your sense of yourself as someone who can accomplish tasks that are challenging, so it has to be small. If you're not somebody who eats fruits and vegetables, then set a goal to eat one fruit or vegetable each day. You're not gonna jump from nothing to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day and start eating kimchi with every meal. Number two, the second most important part, scientifically proven in building a healthy habit, is to surround yourself with people for whom your desired behavior is already the way that they live their lives. So you're not going to quit drinking by hanging out at the pub with all your friends who are pounding back 40s, but rather surrounding yourself with people who already make habits out of their lives, these things that we're looking for today. That's why we've got Marla on Sleep Week. She's got sleep on lock. That's why we're bringing in Megan Finnegan's mother, uh, Beth Finnegan, to do the um, immune system building week because she's got that stuff locked down. By being around people who are already doing it, it makes it so much easier. Think about those small changes that happen. Somebody in your family shifts the way they eat or they go for a walk after meals and suddenly you're walking with them. You'll get caught up in other people's uh, momentum. The third part, and this is really important, this is where we bring your brain chemicals inside, is remind, report, repeat. That's how you make it into a habit. So from a goal into a habit. So one, you need reminders and that's what we're here for. That's what this group is here for. That's what your teammates are here for. Every single week you'll get reminders and you'll get reminders throughout the week of what we're focusing on and what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. Number two is reward. Now this is going to seem a little silly, but it actually works. At your studio, if you complete the action of the week, you'll get to put your name on a raffle ticket, enter that raffle ticket into a basket that at the end will swirl all the tickets up and pull out someone who's gonna win some amazing swag and gear from your home studio. Now, for those of you who are working virtually, don't worry, just simply email your studio owner and they'll put your raffle ticket in. The more you do, the more chances you get into the raffle so you can win the big prize. Now, this is a really important step, even if you're someone who's like, I don't like a token economy, and here's the why. It's just like scratching a lotto ticket. When you enter that ticket into the basket or you send your studio owner an email saying, make sure you put my raffle ticket in for me, it triggers the release of dopamine in your brain. Now, dopamine, we sometimes mistake and call it the feel-good hormone. It's not. It's your motivation hormone. The simple entry, the chance, the possibility that maybe your numbers will come up and you'll win the lottery this time is enough for your brain to start a biochemical reaction so that the next time you see an action of the week in our group, you'll actually have that motivational biochemical to make you want to do it again. So even if it seems kind of silly to you and you're like, I don't know if I want the bad it. it doesn't matter. You've got to get yourself to do it. Now, some of us have like big gold ones and you can turn the crank a few times. Do it up. Do it all. Write your name in fancy handwriting. That is going to be that um, reward inside of your brain that makes you want to do it again. Just like the rats that pushed a button and they got some orange juice. The orange juice tasted good. They had the dopamine release. When they started to see the button, they didn't even have to taste the juice. They would immediately get the dopamine hit. So they would hit that button. So they'd have the motivation to take the actions. And we will do that every single week. Remind, reward, repeat. It's super simple, but it actually works. So you'll notice in each person's video coming up that there is an action of the week and that's your signal, that's your trigger to get yourself your little raffle ticket, your dopamine hit of the week so you can turn these goals of yours into habits that make you feel amazing. We can't wait to get started on this journey with you.